Hello, hello, hello. Paint time. Today, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna paint the Peugeot bike. I already went ahead and sanded it down, put the first layer of white um, using the spray dot bike powder coat spray cap. I got the white chapel. I've already sanded it, I've taped it. Um, I put the first layer down. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and do the 2000 grit wet sand. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put a second coat. Let it dry for about two hours. Come back, do 2500 grit wet sand. I think three layers should be more than enough, should be good. Um, then I'll probably let it cure for 48 hours. Then we'll go ahead and put the new vinyl decals on and we'll put the clear coat on maybe 24 hours after that. So a um, little bit of a lengthy process. Yeah, you guys like it. All right, so here we go. 2000 grit, wet sand. It's been in, uh, soaking in water for 24 hours with a little bit of soap. Just gonna do it in light little circles around. Just wanna get rid of any small little bumps and any drips that there may be, although there shouldn't be any drips. This paint is actually really good. Just gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll go ahead and, and paint it again. Let's do it. So you wanna just do this very lightly. You don't wanna take off too much of the paint that you've already put. The main point is to just really smooth off any paint. You want it nice and smooth. Just go feeling it, see where there's any rough spots. If it doesn't need to be sanded, you know, don't stress too much about sanding in that part. All right guys, so put it all sanded down through the floor, the frame, the frame's over there. Um, just to get it nice and smooth. Don't do too much because you'll end up taking the paint off. That's not what you want to do. So we're gonna go ahead and do this second layer. Um, you know, there's a little bit of pitting, scratches from the old paint, or and it, and it got down to the base. Um, I couldn't find the sprayed out bike uh, builder's putty. Uh, I wish I could, but it seems to be sold out. Um, so if anyone knows anywhere here in California where you can get it, or uh, anyone know where I can get it, just in general. That'd be much appreciated. Um, I've got another two bikes I need to build it and put together. So that would really help. I'm gonna go ahead and move this over there uh, to a corner where there is better airflow. Um, I've got my face mask, a lot of gloves. One thing to keep in mind, this paint, you gotta do it pretty close. because It comes out like powder. So if you're too far, you'll just have the paint floating all around you. Probably about two, three inches. Uh, it seems to be the good distance for the paint. All right, the lacquer, the, the high gloss, we'll talk about that later. You gotta do that from a little bit of a further distance because it's a bit different, but the paint's two to three inches, good distance. Let's do the, let's do the second layer. All right, here we go. Um, you know, you don't have to do this on a bicycle stand. I got one, I invested in one. It's been really helpful, it's really handy. Got this little board just on the back to test the paints. You always wanna spray before you paint. There might be some uh, paint stuck at the tip or and you might not know how it might come out. Usually the first little spray is a bit iffy. I'm gonna say shake it for a solid three minutes. So I'm gonna give it a shake and get to spraying. All right, give the paint a solid three minute shake. And we test it out here. Yeah, comes out good. So my advice, long strokes seems to be the best so let's give it a go All right, I think I'm pretty happy with that. So now um, I'm gonna move it, um, set it to dry for about two hours and come back to it. And um, we'll give it another stand with some uh, a finer grit sandpaper, probably about 2,500. All right guys, swap the fork for the frame, uh, put a tube here, should be good.
All right, so we're gonna flip it around now. This is the tricky part. All right, guys, I think we're good. So we're gonna let it sit now for two hours. Um, so we'll come back and do the quick third layer over uh, anything that needs to be done. We'll be good to go. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do 2,500 grit now. I wanna get it really nice and smooth. So I'm gonna just lightly do it over. For the most part, it came out pretty well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the fork first and then I'll do the frame afterwards and then, then the last coat of white paint. Third coat, gonna put the third coat. Gonna leave it 10 minutes, after 10 minutes it's touch dry up and then I'll take this tape off. Um, we'll see how that comes along because it's, it's been there a while, right? Remember to test your kind of paint first too. Just one real quick thing. You don't have to do three sprays. It's really just a personal thing. I'm just trying to restore this bike to the best possible condition so I'm gonna make the paint look nice. One spray was actually pretty good and it, it came down really well and I'm coming towards the end of the can so it might end up in here. So one can, about three sprays I'd say, you know, frame them and pour full size, all right? All right guys, I think that's done. So um, yeah, gonna wait 10 minutes, take the tape off, take the tape off the fork and let it cure for about probably 36 hours. And then we'll put the, the vinyls on them and see how that goes. All right guys, so this has been curing now for about 24 hours close to it. I sanded it one last time uh, after the final coat and it's nice and smooth. So now I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the decals. Uh, these are vinyl deca decals, I got them from Velo cows, masking done. Have top sticker here, the center seat post sticker, the two on the down tube that go on the left and right, and the one that goes on the top tube right here. I haven't masked the fork, I'll do that later. What you need is, you need a squeegee or any form of card, it should work perfectly fine, and a spray bottle, three drops of just regular dish soap, make sure it doesn't have any oils or lotions. And I'm using distilled water because the water here is really hard. Ideally, you wanna use distilled water so you don't get any small sediments. And I got the decals right here. So I'm gonna give this a try, see how it goes. And then we will take a look and see how easy or hard this really is. Let's see. My first if about this is uh, it didn't cut the, the decals with straight edges on both sides. So it's a little hard to find this center, but it should be okay. I, I straightened it out, no big deal.
So I'm in no rush. So I'm just gonna let it dry. The longer the better. In the meantime, I might I might go ahead and get on with the rest. I need to mark the center line of this one and then go ahead and put the rest of the stickers. All right, guys. So <clears throat> I've gone ahead, I've put the decals. They came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with them. Um, they're very nice and thin. I think they're 0.1 millimeter. That's what I went for. They were a bit tricky to put on the down tube. Um, if you look really closely, there's a few little things, but I think they're just minor. So they, it's, it came out a lot better than I was originally had envisioned. So I, I'm happy with them overall. Um, so yeah, bevel cows, check them out. <clears throat> Their decals came out pretty good. They're really good quality. A little bit challenging for first timer, uh, but, um, but nothing that is impossible to do. So I'm really happy with them. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put use the sprayed off bike. Um, what is this? The Frame Builders Transparent Finish. I'm gonna put one layer, clear coat, let it dry, give it a very light um, sand with 2500 grit. And then I'm gonna give it a second coat of clear spray over. So let's get this done. Should be done with this today with all the paint and the next video, hopefully we'll be putting everything together. All right, just like last time guys, um, give it a can of shake for three minutes, spray it out to the side, face mask, got that. So um, yeah, let's see how it goes. For this one, you have to be probably about eight inches away. All right, so I got the bike frame now. Gonna do the same thing, um, just really lightly over, give it a flip upside down, and yeah, let it dry for about two hours, give it a little sand, and then we'll apply a second coat. I always get a little bit nervous before. <laughs> All right, so now we'll flip it over. My trick, is to just grab it from the bottom bracket and the top. I just hope for the best, really. Point it out. Quick foot. And get it back down. All right, so now we let it dry two hours. We'll come back to it, take a look how it came out, give it a little sand, and uh, we'll add the last coat. Now, sprayed out body says one coat gives you a sudden look, two coats gives you a gloss look. I'm gonna go for that gloss look, so I'm gonna put two coats of this. All right, guys, so here we are. At the end, three coats of uh, lacquer, and I'm happy with it. It looks good. Um, looks better than it was before. A few little things that I found that were a little bit challenging. Paint smeared a little bit on the center detail on the black. That's my fault. But locale says don't use any spray lacquer. I use a spray lacquer. But that's all right. It's not really noticeable unless you're looking for it. Um, and so overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Came out really good. Now the next step is to build it together. I do have to let it cure for about 24 or 36 hours before putting it together. Um, but that'll be the next video, putting it step by step. All right, guys. Um, so if you've enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe. Uh, thanks for coming along. Um, and I hope it's been useful and helpful to you. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the process. Now for some shots of the bike.